Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 29th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a nice little bounce, um, but now the question is: gonna, Is it going to be a dead cat bounce, or we actually will we actually see some follow through that might test some bigger resistance levels in the chart? That's yet to be seen. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, clearly that was a nice little bounce yesterday, a nice little relief rally, and we've been expecting that to occur at some point in time. And it did break through that little bit of a resistance right there. But boy, at the end of the day, those sellers came back in, pushing it back down. So that's still a bit in question. What I'd really hope is if we could get some follow through and even push up into here, that I think would set up additional short trades. But for now, we have the worry of the data coming out this morning with the GDP and jobless claims number that we're gonna have to get through to decide whether or not that's gonna inspire those bulls or re-inspire those bears. What's unfortunate is looking um, uh, uh, around at markets around the world, Asian markets kind of were mixed, well, mixed and flat um, on the day. So they really didn't pick up on the bullish inspiration that we uh, left out there yesterday. And European markets are red across the board this morning, not picking up on that love either. So that, that raises some questions here and we'll have to wait and see how we respond to that upcoming data. Let's take a look here. Obviously we continue to be in a substantial downtrend in the chart and we have substantial resistance levels above that we've yet to deal with um, in the chart. And if we look at our technicals, well, they're still just doggone bearish. Um, here on the weekly, notice that we bounced up. We're testing that weekly 50 or that weekly 50 average, uh, 200 average, and trying to um, challenge that. But doggone it, that pullback right at the end of the day didn't really leave us, um, you know, the best of circumstances here. More of a um, uh, uh, spinning top doji than anything else on that weekly. And if we look at our daily, you can see right here, nothing really changed here. We didn't get above our even our eight exponential moving average T line. Um, we continue to have all of our uh, longer term averages turning lower. Our, our 200 day is about right across down through the 500 day. Not the best of circumstances. So we still have quite a bit of work here to do, but perhaps, perhaps we may get enough love um, here in the market eventually with the data today that we could push on through and follow to the upside. But as you can see, Futures right now are suggesting they're trying to take back a pretty big chunk of yesterday's move all at once here in that uncertainty about the data ahead. If we take a look at our SPY, very much the same situation, obviously continuing in a downtrend. We rallied up nicely yesterday, challenging a little bit of price resistance here in the chart, but the gap down this morning kind of changes that and what it makes me wonder guys is if we're what we're actually doing is maybe setting up a wide chop range um, so for example we could easily have a choppy range in this chart that extends out here for the next couple of weeks as we wait for the beginning of earnings. It's gonna be really challenging if that's the case because we just have so much uncertainty about what those earnings are going to be. So that that could also be in play here is that we're just gonna chop around in here as we wait for those earnings. So keep a close eye on that. And technically nothing has changed here in the SPY. If we were to take a look at our QQQ, QQQ very much the same, uh, gapping back down here this morning, taking a chunk of that nice rally out of yesterday uh, with the uncertainty of the data. 
testing some price resistance here in the chart. And I'd really like to see that push a little bit higher, get a little more follow through, kind of like this rally here. If we could just push on up there just a little bit, that would be beautiful to set up more short trades. But I just don't know with the data coming ahead if we're going to muster enough energy to do that out of the bulls. Those bears are still very tenacious and I don't expect them to give up very easily here. So we're going to need some good data to push us through. However, there is some good news here and that good news is we're still holding on to those June lows here in the QQQ. We haven't broken that down. So fingers crossed that there may be some opportunity of a bounce and then if we look at our russell uh, by the way technicals in here uh, well no changes uh, as a matter of fact all we've really done right now is held right here at the 200 day weekly um, um, so keep a close um, eye on that and then if we take a look at our whoops um, our Russell IWM. IWM had a really substantial bounce yesterday, looking pretty good. Broke into that gap right in here and pushed right on up before it stopped at that resistance. And now uh, pulling back a little bit here this morning. So watch that close. Once again, I'd like to see a little bit more follow through, kind of like this rally here. Um, and hopefully we haven't just um, set the ranges for a chop zone um, as we wait for the earnings. Again, there is that little bit of hope of that double bottom here holding that June low. So fingers crossed if you're a bull that um, we might have a little bit of support in there. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX nicely pulled back here yesterday we gapped up in the morning as you can see and we pressed the resistance here of that level in the chart and i've suggested real panic could come into the market if we bounce above that level so we came close to it early on in the day but those bulls found a way to muster some energy and get things going here a little bit of a short squeeze happening and we pushed on up so let's keep an eye on some of this price support in here and of course this trend with us gapping down a little bit this morning um, we might see this push back up but if we could continue that little resting coming back in here test support and test trend that would be nice we need that follow through to the upside one day certainly does not make a trend and doesn't suggest that we've reversed so um, just be a little bit careful and cautious here this morning until we get that data we kind of figure out how the market is going to react if we take a look at our t2122 interestingly enough that t2122 really changed a lot yesterday as a matter of fact um, right before that selling right at the end of the day we were up here in the 60 plus percent area so unfortunately <laughs> We had such a bounce back up in T2122. I was hoping we'd get a little bit of follow through today because with some follow through, we could have been in the oversold condition really quickly here. That doesn't bode well for the market because it shows that there's still a lot of weakness out there. Um, but right here in the middle of the range, remember T2122 doesn't give us the direction. It just tells us when we have those pressure points that we're oversold or overbought. So today it's all about the inspiration. Will we find enough inspiration to move on higher? getting up here to test that overbought area in the um, in T2122 or will those bears re-engage on that data pushing us back down toward that oversold condition in the market so just keep a close eye on that we don't know until we get that reaction to the data our T2108 certainly showed a nice little improvement yesterday but it wasn't enough to just really go woohoo uh, the the bears are running for cover and the bulls have taken over nope not so much but there is a little bit of support right in here that we held on to so fingers crossed if you're a bull that is holding and that is at least at this point a good sign we have tremendous resistance above in this chart however and I got to tell you, um, you know, 15, 16% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. It's hard to get really excited about a bull run um, um, being initiated here. Just not enough love in there um, so far. So we'll have to wait and see. And then our T21. 
607 um, had a nice little bounce back up as well. Um, came up at one point, we were up over 20% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average, but that little bit of selling right into the close brought that back down. So 19, 20% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. Again, pretty tough to make a big, exciting um, statement. Hey, the bulls are back in control here. But the, the encouragement is we didn't make lows. We, we held the June and July lows. And um, on the bearish side, we've got a lot of resistance above. So um, lots gonna depend on how that data comes out today. There is some good news in the T2101. And the T2101, as you can see, hooked over here just a little bit, suggesting maybe that downside momentum did break, at least temporarily. We'll have to watch that closely. It could easily resume today on that data. But if those bulls can find inspiration in the data today, maybe we can continue that move, get a little bit more of a relief rally. And honestly, that's what I want to see. I'd love to see that because that sets up better short trade potentials. But I'm not holding my breath for it. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, well, this is what I've been talking about all morning. We have got quite a few things here that could move us around substantially. Um, certainly that GDP number is going to be very, very important today, something that the Fed is going to be paying attention to. So we'll have to deal with that. Then we've got jobless claims. Uh, jobless claims are expected to creep up just ever so slightly. We'll want to watch that closely because we know the Fed has said we want to see jobless numbers moving up. We need some demand destruction in the market. So keep an eye on that. We're going to have corporate profit numbers. I don't think that's going to move the market at all, but you never know. And then we've got um, the natural gas report out there so keep a close eye on that um, we are going to want to keep an eye on a couple of fed speakers and we've got um, oops that's just an announcement uh, we've got a four week and an eight week auction uh, to uh, be thinking about later on this afternoon um, all of that is um, going to wrap up into um, wondering what the personal incomes and outlays number are, are going to be. This is this is the number that the Fed or Jerome Powell continues to talk about, the PCE, core PCE. That'll be an important number on Friday, so watch that close. And we've got Chicago PMI and that consumer sentiment as well on Friday as you prepare forward. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have a few um, more name-worthy um, um, reports today to be paying attention to. Whether or not they're going to be all that market moving, I can't tell you, but let's take a look at what we've got going here. First, we've got uh, Bed Bath & Beyond will be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. Looks like they're looking a little bit down here on the day, but remember, I'm not sure whether or not they've reported just yet. Then we've got Micron. I think Micron reports after the bell today. Keep an eye on Micron. That could be one of those reports that could really be telling for the market if tech has held up okay in its earnings. Remember Micron last time suggested we're going to have some tough times ahead for um, these semiconductors and uh, well it turned out they were right and so we'll see how they report this time. Um, watch that closely later on this afternoon. And then we have uh, Nike Nike reporting today. Um, we'll want to take a close look at that. Obviously, very, very bearish chart underneath resistance. So this earnings report could decide whether or not we're going to uh, pop on back up or if we continue this trend to the downside. We've got Rite Aid. Um, on the list today. It looks like Rite Aid has disappointed here this morning, uh, gapping lower and breaking some support here, um, at least in the pre-market. So not looking so good there on Rite Aid. KMX um, reporting today. Also looks like we got a disappointment here on that reversing. Boy, I got to tell you, the folks that are chasing into trades, chasing into an earnings report like this, um, you've got to have more money than common sense to do that. Um, 
right now. Um, trying to buy this up heading into an earnings report with all the uncertainty that we have out here. Guys, we have got to stop this wild speculation in the market thinking that everything is just going to rip back to the upside while the Fed is continuing to fight the market. So just be really, really careful of that. That's going to hurt a lot those folks who chased in and bought this up going into earnings today yikes and then let's take a look one others um, not particularly uh, you know a, a major notable here WOR uh, reporting today and it looks like this is also disappointed um, uh, we popped up here um, early on, but selling off very quickly here after its announcement, um, um, continuing that downtrend here in WOR. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor clicking that thumbs up button leaving that brief comment helps the channel to continue to grow and maybe maybe today we'll see we're getting closer and closer to 29,000 subscribers so maybe today we can kick over that with a little bit of help from you guys and then also if you find these videos uh, worthy uh, feel free to share them out there on your social media feed and once again I want to thank everyone for uh, that supports the channel through the buy me a coffee link you guys are truly truly awesome let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up to, for today and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to be doing your own due diligence you need to be focusing in very very closely on the risk of these trades and understanding there's there's a lot of volatility a lot of risk in the market right now so remember do your own due diligence follow your particular rules and make sure you understand the risk of every trade you consider in this market let's take a look there's a couple trades that really started to um, improve just a little bit yesterday take a look at uh, BJ wholesale um, retail was one of the winners yesterday and some of those retail charts picking up notice we've we broke down, we broke support in that chart, and now we've rallied back up and we're trying to prove to hold it. That's what I wanna see. If we break a support level, rally back through that resistance and prove to hold, now I need to see some buying following through on that to make that a potential buy. So keep a close eye on that, BJ Wholesale. Not too bad a shape here overall um, in that chart. Um, for solar, tried to make a move out of its consolidation yesterday. Nice little bullish pop to the upside. We didn't quite break out. It's trying to get a little bit of follow through here this morning. Keep an eye on First Solar. We know that they are receiving quite a bit of funds from um, the, the um, federal um, spending. So watch that carefully and see if that can push on through to the upside. Might be worth watching. I did see some stocks like Target retail um, had a big pop yesterday. I wouldn't want to call this anything bullish. As a matter of fact, I, I would say this may actually set itself up short on this rally back um, as it pops into that resistance. So watch that closely. I'm also going to say the same um, about Costco. Um, I know there's a lot of folks that really love trading Costco, but um, this rally back up is not all that convincing. And we notice here quite a little price resistance in this chart to deal with. I would be watching Costco for the potential short here um, in, um, in that move. And then Walmart was another one of the retail that I was looking at yesterday. Nice little pop back up. But here again, we're just popping back into downtrend, lots of price resistance. Keep an eye on that. I think that may still be a potential short setting up here um, in the market. Now, when we look at some of the techs, take a look at Apple. Now, Apple told us yesterday that they um, were not gonna ramp up their manufacturing because iPhone sales, um, iPhone 14 sales are not coming in as they expected. Um, they continued to press on saying uh, other sales are fine, um, but we sold off strongly early in the morning and then with
with that rally, for some reason, uh, when a company warns like that, we should take that as a clue. But for some reason, folks were buying this up yesterday into the move. Now they're going to get punished here today. This may actually be setting up short guys um, running into price resistance and downtrend and that potential failure coming here in that chart. So watch carefully for that. Any of the stocks um, in tech that bounced a lot yesterday could be setting up short. Take a look at AMD. Now AMD got a little bit of a pop, but it really was not impressive. And notice that that trend continues to remain down so I would be watching a stock like AMD for any kind of this flat consolidation out there for that potential to move lower any kind of a rally back for that potential to move lower and unfortunately there's a lot of stocks like that out there now on the bullish side take a look at some energy we had um, energy numbers yesterday and oil that showed declines in supplies that helped to perk that up and then of course that dollar pulling back was also very instrumental in the rally yesterday so keep an eye on this if the dollar continues to push down and i'm not sure that it will but if the dollar continues to push down i would look for commodity prices to move up and i'd mentioned tlt yesterday and i did get some notifications so folks made some nice money on tlt um, that's awesome but notice we're not getting much follow through here with that today in fact the pre-market is looking down on that because we continue to see those bond prices are are, are very problematic here for um, our market we're just not quite ready to make that shift and and break that dollar um, or turn those bonds back um, back down, uh, bond yields back down. So watch that close. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here today and listening. I do appreciate it. You guys humble me every day with your kind words. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.